Hi everyone, thanks for returning. This is Melissa Morris with How to Draw and Paint 101. And I like to teach you how to draw, not just how to draw a specific thing, but how to draw anything. So how you would go about drawing anything and everything. So I have a little cup, I'm taping it down just so it kind of stays in a way that you guys can see it and then I am going to be drawing it here. So today I am using a 3H pencil, an eraser, and we'll see how far we get. I may um, use a marker to outline and do some erasing. So first things first, when you see the cup or whatever it is that you're drawing, you wanna give yourself a little gesture. So you just start lightly making marks that suggest the object that you're looking at And then I like to start thinking about the center of objects, giving myself a little gesture or structure, a little sort of thinking out, line, out loud of the structure with some line. And then another little element here. So we have this rounded bottom. And from the side view, it becomes more of an oval shape or an ellipse than through the top. And now notice too that this cup has a little bit of a nuance, some sort of up and down movement. I'm not really worried about that just yet, more getting the idea of the, of the general shape and the general structure. All right, so then, and now actually in upon looking, just my little design here is, is off already. So don't be afraid to adjust and change things to make them more accurate. So let's start to think about, this is where the end of the cup is, this is the top of the cup, sort of this is the middle of that opening of the cup, and then we sort of have the bottom, and then it, it goes out a little bit with, the, with the, um, the foot of this cup, bottom here. I'm not gonna be too worried about the um, handle just yet. I just kinda wanna get this. So now, notice how I went in and I started doing sort of something fancy or stylized. Try to avoid that and think more with straight lines, how something exists. You can actually make a circle with a series of straight lines. So notice how my, my pencil is actually going in much of a straight line and building it up to create that, that curve. And this is actually uh, thinner and this is more wider. So again, don't be afraid to change or to adjust, to become more real, to really see and to capture what's in front of you. So there we are. Now the handle of the piece we're going to add. So it kind of comes out, if you look, comes about this length. You can even take your pencil and maybe measure it, measure it across the top here, and make sure it's relative to the marks and shapes that you're making. So think about how wide it is, where it starts on the cup, where it ends on the cup. And so this comes around. Again, try to think about the marks as straight lines, just so that it's not so foo-foo-y or too stylized at first. This comes around and then back around. All right, so now we have the structure, the sort of basic outline of this cup shape. Now here's when you can start getting into more of the details. For instance, this little lip that comes up. So lip, and if I really look, the lip comes up here, here, and then you can see the lip happen on the other side, and then a little lift, and then it comes back around. Nice, nice. Now this handle is not just one line. It has more 
width to it, more gut to it. So I'm just going to now go looking at that sort of negative shape to get that shape of the handle. Again, coming up around, coming up around. Nice. So that's looking pretty hot, pretty good. Here we go, the teacup. Now, as I was saying before, you can use your pencil to get the basic structure or outline of the object that you're looking at. And then you could take a marker or pen. This is a Sharpie marker. So I'm just gonna go over these lines delicately and nicely. The lines that I want to stay for the cup. I'm going to stop there because I know that the, if you look at the cup, this handle comes over the cup just slightly and then comes around. There we are. And then connect it in here, here. And then the bottom. Now from here, if you'd like, you can draw some of the other details that are happening on the cup. I'm gonna transfer over into a colored pencil. And slowly, I'm just going to measure where things are located. Again, you could go back to your pencil and simply just give yourself a little bit of an outline of where these things exist and that way if you mess up you can erase it. I'm not sure these are Prismacolor pencils maybe they erase. Yes they do. Good to know. But again you could go in with your pencil just to get some of these details going. I'm going along this little line here. This comes and curls around. And then the leaf goes over here with a little lip. This little lip comes up. Again, at the end of the day, you guys get to see what I'm drawing from, but at the end of the day, this object disappears and nobody sees what I'm drawing from. So I do the best I can to get the details to make it look like what it is I'm looking at. Maybe I'll go in with the colored pencil now. Now this butterfly element here is kind of going in this direction in a sort of angle here. And it's about it's about here. And I'm just breaking it down to the simple shapes. Is this element that goes out like this and 
and then another element that goes out like this and then the loop for the wing and then it comes back up again let me try to copy that on the other side and it comes up there's a little loop on the inside another little loop on the other side then the wing tends to go over this way and then over this way and there's all of these lines that are happening on the on the butterfly or moth creature here so just adding those little details and then underneath there's some more of these little lines again you may want to um, just keep it in pencil and then color it in with a colored pencil or you can take I'm kind of doing like a marker thing today so I'm just gonna go over these things now I'm going to allow just a little bit more stylization in the way that I'm tracing these just to make it look a little more interesting And then the butterfly. Tracing that. Going over some of these lines. looking pretty good and then there's these other lines now I feel pretty confident there's this other double line that's happening underneath this this cup if you look there's like a double sort of border line going around and it's not on the inside so I'm gonna leave that blank then there's another little leaflet coming sneaking out here peeking out another little leaflet here another little leaflet here another I'm getting a little faster and becoming a little bit more stylized because it doesn't really matter at the end of the day what this cup does or what kind of design if it looks like a tea cup with a special design on it then I'm happy maybe you want to take your time and make it look exactly like the thing that's in front of you for me, that's not as important as just making a interesting looking object. So just going along, go along here, add that little leaflet. And like I said in the beginning, you can go along and erase all of these sort of structural lines that you build to outline and to give you sort of parameters and to get all out the little um, thinking out loud moments so that all that you have left is the pretty little teacup. There we go. And then maybe when I am drawing, I have all of these sort of colored pencils. This is when I may go in and try to create sort of this darker area to show that there is a, um, a little bit of light and shadow in this piece. So I might go in just softly with this gray. And then maybe around these guys at the bottom here just to show that there is some shadow And then if you look in the inside here, there's it's dark, so I might go along here with this. And now I'm discovering, and it's always nice to pay attention to your materials and your drawing and your artwork to see what's happening so that you can either avoid it or use it again in the future. So I have drawn those lines quite hard, 
on this drawing paper so it's leaving a little bit of an imprint of the lines where I drew and so now as I draw over this with the colored pencil it's sort of leaving behind or going over those little grooves which it doesn't really bother me but that may be something I could use in the future as a sort of a technique to create some texture or an interesting design in an abstract piece. So always paying attention to what happens while you're drawing. And let's see, this guy has a little bluish, so, and again, I'm gonna use this little purpley color. It's not the same as that one, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go in, noticing where it gets dark, emulating that into my picture, just to create something interesting and neat. That's kind of pretty. Maybe I can find a lighter blue in here. Again, at the end of the day, the only thing that's left is my piece. No one really is going to see my little teacup here. So I can make take some liberties and choose to do what I would like to do to create an interesting design. An interesting picture. Pretty picture. And I'll get that green again and go ahead and color in all of these leaves. So that's kind of pretty. And again, you can now do anything you'd like. I think I might even want to go a step further. This is not colored, but in my drawing, I think I would like this to be pink. I think that will add just a cute little touch. These teacups my grandmother gave me, my grandmother Susan, and we used to have tea parties and make little cakes and have little moments where we would sip tea and talk to each other. It really is the small moments in life that are meaningful. So this cup is not just a teacup. This teacup reminds me of my grandmother. So I'm adding some of the character and nuance to it that would remind me of her. She loved the colors orange and yellow and pink. She had a yellow Jeep for the longest time that she would drive around and bounce around in. go. Now that's looking pretty sweet. Maybe just to give her even more of a tribute, I might go in and color this whole thing a little yellow because Grammy Susan would love that. And you can see I'm not worried about just going right over the areas that I've colored. These are Prismacolors. Prismacolor colored pencils, so they really actually look better when you overlap them. Oh, what a beautiful little teacup. And again, so this is sort of like a light, light yellow. I might go in with maybe a darker yellow to create just some more interest and some sort of darker areas to make it seem like there's light on it. Maybe go into these shadows to give them more color into this shadow. Maybe along the edge because this is where it's hitting the table so it would have more weight. Maybe under this little lip. And I don't want that shadow in the back there to be just gray and dull so I might go in and color that in yellow also so that it has the idea that it's a darkened or grayed yellow in there. There we are. And there we go, our little teacup.